Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. Episode 29 of Cyrus Says was released on August 13th, 2015. Just to remind everybody that language usage and content that we provide here may be disturbing, disgusting, probably will be and should be. Words like bloody custard and words that rhyme with that may be featured. Actually will be featured. In fact, perhaps will only be featured. Just warning you. You're listening to Cyrus Says. Yes, on Cyrus Says, we talk about the most important thing in my life this week, which is Hachu! Now, that's not Chinese for a new soup that I tried. That, in fact, is the sneeze. Now, I have to tell you, Indians, whoever are listening, please, we must stop sneezing on each other. I can't understand. The other day, I went and met somebody or we were discussing something in a meeting. He shakes my hands and sneezes and that's it. He doesn't even move his mouth, his nose. He doesn't try to take a look away. And he continued holding my hand and kept talking. And then he tried to give me a half hug on the way out. I was I was scandalized. We must understand that if you're going to sneeze or use uh, some sort of, have some sort of cold that needs to be dealt with you need to give space to the other people you cannot share the commonality of a room when you have a sneeze those days are over what the hell are we are we Bangladesh no we're India we need to give each other some space so sneeze but sneeze away from each other I'll show you how to do that Hachu it's called Cyrus Says you're listening to Cyrus Says we are with a poet, philosopher, a blogger, a king, a man of many, many tastes, Anag Desai. And he's going to come clean and tell us all about his life, his times, his blogging. And we'll discuss other things like monsoon parliament, porn. In fact, let's just stick to porn. Porn basically is an issue. I'm going to go with porn. Or oh, as my aunt in Mapsa once told me, you want porn curry or pork curry? The show is called Cyrus Says and we have a lovely new guest, one of the pioneers and path breakers in the world of uh, travel, apparently, and also the world of food and one of the first bloggers, I'm told, if not the first blogger in the entire history of the country of India. Listen, <laughs> Mr. Anak Desai, let me first welcome you and tell you, don't argue. All right, I've done my research. Yes, I've sir. searched every page on you and found that you are the first uh, ever blogger in the history of the country. Yes, sir. Okay, now, even if it's not true, it doesn't matter. Yes, sir. What matters is that we present you in a certain light. Yes, sir. But if you're not the first blogger, you're amongst the first 10 bloggers, please don't say yes, sir, again. <laughs> no, sir. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. All right. And we're off. <laughs> this is my second relationship after my wife's to end with two words. Uh, sir, I'll call you sir back. Half the show will just be that. All right, should we just do the sirs now and get out of the way? Absolutely. Sir, 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 sir. Uh, let's start with you. So you were a CEO at a consulting company, OnePlus99. Let's go back into your life before we get into blogging. Anand, okay. you obviously come from extreme wealth. Uh, you're super rich. You've done very well for yourself. Everything is good. Touch wood. Uh, so don't blow your own trumpet and don't say yes, sir. Let's move on straight to the fact that uh, you wear many, many different hats. And if there's an awkward pause, as uh, Anag kind of thinks, what the no, hell is I don't, he I don't have a hat right now, but I used to wear multiple hats once upon a time. Mm-hmm. I'm, and, just, uh, I'm just going to the biodata. There's a hell of a lot of different things. Um, but before we get into the food blogging, the fact that you were early on Twitter, etc., 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 just a little bit about yourself. Been there, done that, not willing to do it again. The blood can, group, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Height, weight, I, age, I left is rightest. On, yeah, only... First girlfriend, uh, view on porn, uh, how many days a week are you naked? You know, that kind of thing. He's not really giving answers. You're not letting him speak. Anag, I apologize. I will let you speak. Okay, girlfriend, not too many. My daughter is old enough to be my girlfriend now, so she monitors me very closely. Oops. <laughs> but uh, Ouch. And I... Don't have a response. Yeah. Scared. <laughs> totally. Yeah. And a liberal, as they say, a liberal. Mm-hmm. I didn't do arts, but I am liberal in my own way. Okay. Uh, 12 hours a day, I prefer to be naked when sleeping. Beautiful. Uh, and, I'm enjoying the visual. Give me a second. Yes. And go on. And uh, blood group, there is no blood left in me. It's only whiskey flowing now. <laughs> oh, what, you're a man what, after my own blood what, group. What uh, distillery then? Uh, distillery. Uh, uh, some days you need to flush it out with old monk, but rest you know, of the time. Now, now that you, sorry, now that you mentioned it, apparently the number one whiskey in the world right now is a Japanese whiskey. Yes, I was yes. blown away. Mm, yes, yummy. Where did that come from? Japan. They make smaller whiskeys. Is it what? <laughs> <laughs> No, 
that's very interesting as a whiskey connoisseur can you tell us what whiskey that is i myself prefer vodka cheaper uh, all the women drink it so i can share absolutely i don't go for japanese i prefer amrut fusion oh amrut is awesome oh I my god you two are bonding yeah. Yeah. one minute waiter I'll organize <laughs> don't you worry okay be, be indian i follow namo don't you lie you follow namo on when you on public record <laughs> otherwise it's all scotch for you all right let's let's get back to the main thing the reason why you're here on cyrus says is because well all your other achievements uh, included the main thing is that you were one of the first bloggers ever early on twitter so you're one of the internet sensations of india you have many millions of followers thank you sir you you what they call a planner who can turn the heads of the indian youth mm. and um, people take it very seriously now So a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, including getting bashed up on Twitter every day. But that's okay. And, yeah, yeah, of course. Now the, my that's a sign uh, of popularity, isn't it? Absolutely. Now my uh, latest uh, thing, which I've been called on Twitter, is the biggest whiner in India. Oh no! <laughs> is it whiner? Because that's a whole different meaning. A whiner. I, I wish whiner. Oh, but okay. uh, again, the vision. It's a whiner. Give me a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, let's get back to how it all started. So you're a 2004 sensation. I want to just take us back. Chavi, 2004. That's about 11 years ago. You were in America. Yeah. Uh, 2004. I was early days in MTV, trying to you know interview fading stars. Nobody heard of the internet, to be honest. Um. Well, Well, yeah, they did. Okay, you fair hadn't. enough. But no one was blogging. There was no, no one took it too seriously. I'm pretty sure. 2004. Anna, so how did you? Were you able to see the vision? What What happened? You woke up one night sweating and realized that this is the future. Ah, uh, not really. I I just woke up and said that when I die, nobody is going to remember me. Let me at least write some crap so somebody will remember me. Chetan Bhagat did that. Me. It didn't work. You got to move on, man. You got to think of other things. Yeah, unfortunately, I am not IIT. I am. No, you're not. Thank God. No, no, we love those guys as well. No, but let's get back. So then, where jokes about? So where did this whole idea come from? Where, how was, were you a net guy at that point? Where did this? I mean, and what were your early blog posts about? No, I want to know why and how the first blog happened because you're talking 11 years ago. That's a hell of a long time. India was not even independent in that time. Uh, it was uh, Manmohan Singh one. <laughs> long time ago. Sort of, but if you uh, go back into history, Travel Genie, which was the first online travel agency, mm -hmm. was started in 2000. And, and I that's yours, them. not mine. I C I C Ventures. Yeah, but I used to head them. Okay, and uh, it was all online, so I was acquainted with. Did you have much called, business in the beginning in two thousand? I'm just trying to go mm, back. A lot of business. If we uh, not uh, go by the top line, which the current e-commerce goes, mm -hmm. we would have been in the same digits. But we preferred that what we make is what is announced. Oh, so very interesting tell there. <laughs> I think they'll get back to you on that one. The guild, the travel yeah. guild, travel uh, guild. Uh. So I was fairly conversant with internet. Mm -hmm. We had something which was known in the early days as MTNL lease line. Oh, yes. I don't think what the hell none of you youngsters remember what MTN is. Youngsters, you are the <laughs> nicest person on the podcast. You are the greatest man. I'll say your name five times every day. Anak Desai is in the bar. What a beautiful thing to say, youngster. So, Unbelievable. That's what we. Well, what was that MTNL lease line like? A short serve. Yeah, it was. It was basically faster than a dial-up modem. Right. When you were on internet. Right. Well, early days. Let's not uh, criticize them. They've come a long way since then, or not yes. really. But we won't get into that. So you started there. You, do you remember your first blog? This the personal yes. blogs that you started. What yes. was that? The personal blog was uh, why the shit should I blog? <laughs> nice. Nice. And uh, cynicism in the early thirties. Good, good, good. Go on. Yeah, and uh, three people read it. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like our show. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. And uh, look why he's come. See, it's very. He's come positive. a long way. Yeah. And my and no, no pun intended. My sister knows. said that uh, no wonder you never did your PhD. Mm -hmm. Wait, you have a master's in something. Uh, whatever, but uh, he's very immodest. See, his new avatar is that he, and, uh, he's the uh, one country bumpkin who's a great philosopher, rustic charm. But actually, the truth is, he's very well educated and he's hiding that. It's terrible hard. reverse snobbery. It's terrible. It's a terrible crime. We we'll take it up. We'll this is exactly later. what happens with Malabar comes to Juhu. Yeah, Malabar. You can't escape the Malabar hill in you, can you? We'll come to the other elitist problems later. But again, the first blog was it really that? It was really that because you I vented. You were venting. I was venting, and uh, it. Uh, became public because one did not know at that point of time Microsoft One Note would publish it or not publish it mm -hmm. and all of that. So it became public and three people exactly read it: my sister, my wife, whom I had to actually force mm. to read. <laughs> and she says, "Ah, okay, if you can do better, then it's worth work, it. Work hard, work yeah, hard, work hard." 
what what was the what was the thoughts any memory vaguely yeah the uh, basic thought was exactly this ranting raving uh, against the government in 2004 2004 primarily because Did we have a government i can't even remember uh was yeah sort of, sort of the monsoon session must have been exactly the same exactly <laughs> yeah. the same everything was exactly yeah. the same the other color was out the other color was See, in it's like your pepsi and coke mm-hmm. if you remove the labels the yeah. government is the same no Fair it's enough. black in color and they have the same it's surname so they're brothers yeah. you're both kola right so yeah. you're obviously from the same family same mr family. kola's children children yeah. absolutely soli kola by the way was a cousin of mine is a baba from kushrubag now settled in new zealand and he has nothing to do with aerated water and that's big disappointment for me as a this is a cutaway uh, as a child when my dad said that his surname is kola with an h and i said he's got no cold drinks <laughs> no cold drinks no cold drinks and nice parsi household no cold drinks inside allowed because you know uh, cold drinks are bad for the health you don't want the children to have children do so you could not have the uh, cold drinks at any point oh my god you should talk like this the whole time you think so yes <laughs> why why would i do that <laughs> Funny! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk like this. Don't worry, I'm an erudite personality. You remember erudite from the last show? <laughs> My good Suresh man and went back to Webster's, opened it, couldn't find it. He spelled it with an H. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Let's get back to your blog. I find it fascinating. You had no idea that blogs would become this big. Come on, be honest. No, you know, I had no idea. This was a hobby, fun, whatever. It was exactly a hobby. It was um, uh, what uh, one says is you kept diaries. Mm-hmm. and what you but that was like uh, not to be sexist more like 12 year old girls uh, you know doing their diary thing i don't know too many men that's who did that that's how it started no web that's how blog, it started blog yeah 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 the web your blog thoughts. started from there your thoughts were your, your sexual thoughts. thoughts also inside included i learned i learned not to publish them right because you show that to your <laughs> wife you may not you may not have a marriage left you have to be very careful what you want to show to who exactly when will we expect that the <laughs> Once the pawn ban is fully removed, we are still in a grey area. We're not sure. I think after I am gone, my daughter may decide to publish. <laughs> Why are you after that poor daughter of yours? The one person who look after you as you age. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, right now, Cyrus, huh. I stay with three women: my mother, my wife, and my daughter. My so God. this is the only opportunity. No wonder you don't want to leave the studio. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> This is the slowest show ever. We'll just do one word from now on. Hello. <laughs> All right. So I'll cut you there for a second. So you started blogging. Um, initially, it's a personal thing. It's a vent. It's a rant. It's a you know, a guy just doing his thing or diary, as uh, Shavi says, diary of the future. Then this food blogging happened. That happened later. Yes, it happened with Burp. Uh, I know. I know. I know. Burp. I've, yeah. I've got an award from Burp. Yeah. For what? Nothing. I just carried Nothing. it out of Ideal Cafe, and they caught me. But, <laughs> It was the wrong thing to do, Parvez. Why, if you're listening, I'm sorry. Parvez owns uh, Ideal Cafe. Ideal Cafe. It was lying right there on top. I picked it up. We're good friends, and I, I, I was talking to him about it, and like a klepto, I just took it. And after two minutes, he came to the car and said, "Cyrus, happy day, na?" So I said, "What?" I thought because he doesn't take money for food also from us. So I said, "What?" The only option was Kunal, my partner, sitting on the right. Yeah, because I was willing to give. He said, "No, no, no you got the award." That and he's a very soft-spoken guy, so feels really bad. <laughs> Gave the burp back. Nice, I like that burp thing. So that thing is yours, is it? No, it was not mine. Sorry, Chavi. Uh, it was uh, one of those rare uh, times when I was down from Dubai. And What were you doing in Dubai? You never mentioned Dubai. Were you, you part of some layers on with the darker talk, side? Basically. Yeah, you didn't ask. So how can I know what I, to ask? I, I'm not a clever end. I've got four lines. And they had, they had uh, launched uh, burp. dot com. This uh, gentleman who's made millions who? recently who, who, who? called Anand Jain of Wiz Rocket. Oh my God! So he was one of the CTOs, and they had launched this. And uh, uh, waiting in the airport launch, I hammered out some ten, fifteen restaurants I had visited. Right in Dubai? No, in India. Okay. And uh, it turns around that they were doing some coding in the night, and they suddenly realized that is. It a human being who is tapping out so many reviews, or is it a, a bot? bot. <laughs> My God! And they finally managed to find out and talk to me the next day. So you were sort of competition. They quickly got you on their side. Looks like. Yeah. So because by the night it was over, I had uh, finished all the sixty-three restaurants I had uh, visited in the last three four months. That's a lot 63. of restaurants. That's a lot of training, man. It's heavy training. <laughs> heavy training. Okay, listen, we've got to take a break because all this talk about food makes Tavi hungry. So we'll order something. You guys will stick to whiskey, whiskey apparently. Whiskey, yeah. Uh, there's a Japanese brand called uh, Hero oh, Moto. Uh, Hero Moto Fusion. Uh, yeah, that that <laughs> too. That too. It comes in really small bottles, so yes. please drink as much as you can. We'll take a break. We'll come back on Cyrus says Anak Desai is going to tell us more about blogging and beyond because he is a philosopher and a king. Back 
Sahib and Anand Desai, when we are talking about uh, whiskey and drinking and alcohol, these are things we should not talk about. Please, if you are driving and listening to this podcast, for God's sake, stop the car and then sit on a bench and then continue with this uh, whole drinking phenomenon. Uh, Chavi, you have to stop drinking and driving. I am telling you right now, I can't bear it. Honestly, I don't drink and drive. I don't drive. Thank God. I keep my hip flask. Give up driving is the worst habit than drinking. I've been telling people from I, the beginning. I agree. Drinking kills. Drinking gets the worst driving name, but driving is the problem. Yeah. yeah. Driving driving is is the problem. Stop driving and stop walking. If people just stayed at home, Cyrus, the world would be such a nicer place. Anna, I agree. You, you were telling us about how you, in the early days, when money was not uh, as easily available, Yamazaki whiskey. Yamazaki. Oh, she's done a research in the break to tell us the Japanese <laughs> name. Japanese. Correct name. the old brocha. <laughs> Racist man has only two words in Japanese. Yes, it's Yama. Zaki. Yamazaki. It sounds Yamazaki. nice. Yamazaki. Sounds, sounds nice. nice. Tastes better. Have you tasted it? Yes. You have. Our producer Amit Doshi tasted it, but he had seven drinks before that, so they all tasted the same because the law is after six, they all taste the same anyway. So he couldn't. He couldn't tell. You know, the people who awarded it uh, yeah. had to taste thousands of whiskeys. I'm wondering what they could even discern. No, but I'm saying what a job have. that is. Imagine, Imagine everybody else. I want to be engineer, sailor. This guy grows up. I want to be a whiskey taster. But then they spit it out. Oh, they don't. They don't They're swallow. Not to, Oops. You get drunk. Impairs judgment. Once really again, nobody's swallowing. Damn you! Judgment. Stop it! <laughs> Control yourself. Anand, can you tell us about your early drinking days? You were saying something off camera, off uh, the well, off the show. Off mic. Yeah, the, uh, off mic. just imagine growing up in Gujarat. Way I've been to Gujarat, and with due respect, it's not, not a problem getting alcohol, brother. No, no. Growing up in Gujarat and being to Gujarat are two different. The moment you get off the airport, the rickshaw wala uh, taxi now. driver tells you, "Now, so joyesh, Angrezi country." He gives you a menu card. That's today, you know. When I was growing up, there were no flights, also. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. tell us, so tell so us. how did you party? Uh, okay, everybody assembled some uh, money, and the money used to be. Uh, there were two choices. One was boot polish, or one was turpentine. No. So boot polish was basically whatever rum was available because it's black in color, huh. ah. and turpentine is whiskey. Huh. So whatever was available. So the early days, uh, probably you had the DSP, which was available at sixty-five. Oh, rupees DSP, a, my generation, the cheapest yeah. whiskey, huh? Sixty-five bucks in Gujarat, and uh, sixty-five for the bottle. Yeah, for the bottle, full size. So now you remember how young you are, right? One, I'm trying to think. I think quart they used to get for thirty-five. Yeah. So I'm a little after you. Quarter is thirty-five, forty. I have never tried DSP. Quarter is quarter, huh? Quarter yeah, no. So do the maths. So that add up to one forty. So that means you're a little older than I am. Thank God, <laughs> at last we have someone who's older. Tells us what is what it was like the turpentine so, years of India. Yeah. Bolo. And so you buy that bottle and uh, uh, tie it with a thread and put it in the water tank. What? Yeah. So it gets cold. It's no? a pit. No, it gets cold. No. That's what you do to your pets. We tie it and put it in a water tank. It what? sounds like some sort of my, my new cat. Futuristic torture. Okay, and then and then okay, so and then what? How do you consume it? Just dry like that, neat? Yeah, of course. You just pull up the bottle, take one shot, put it back again. No. Wait. Wow. So how hard was it to get it? What? Very easy. What kind of question is that? I mean, it was home what? home delivery those days. <laughs> ah, so bootlegger, you called him yeah. and, and he came to. Called no. Oh, you no. left a message. There were no phones also. Shavi, it used Shavi, to take six it, years to get a telephone line. He's Native American. They would do those smoke signals so, no, 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 from one so village to another. Process. I'm very curious. So whenever you pass, you knew, knew the common bootleggers. So huh. you would leave a message. What, what were their names? What were their names be like? Mostly Ashok Bogi. Ashok Bogi. That sounds cool. Yeah. yeah. Huh? So uh, not Nilesh Bottle. No, not Nilesh <laughs> Bottle, but <laughs> Suleiman Bottle was there. Okay, <laughs> there was. See, see, see. Yeah. And then you left a message. No, we left a message at the Pan Ka Galla or whatever it is, where which was a regular. It's a system in place, Shavi. A system in place, a process, very and process. And there was no tech, but the delivery was always perfect. Today with tech, also most of the deliveries are not perfect. Oh, and you don't get to talk to a guy called Mister Bottle. Mr. You got a, a funny accent guy, half Yank accent on the line for your delivery. It's all over the place. Although I do have to say that many many years ago, when I was on a Nokia, I got the phone number of a bootlegger who sold foreign liquor cheaper than huh. you know the. Huh. Shops. And my phone was the old phone, so there was a character limit. So he was saved in my phone as Mister Bootle because bootlegger didn't fit. Oops! <laughs> and and how was his delivery? I never ever tried him. You never tried, for the sake of legal issues. We don't want to get into what really happened. So, Chavi, yeah, I have a liquor license, but I don't buy bootlegs. Oh, liquor license? Not like you won Wimbledon, you know? What the hell are you talking about? Everybody has a damn liquor license. No, you haven't. All kids I know under fifteen have liquor licenses. <laughs> what is there? Liquor license? Anand, do you have a liquor license? What country do you live in? No, I don't need one. Anand has white hair. White hair allows you to have a liquor <laughs> license. If if they ask a white-haired man for a liquor license, then that guy needs to check his own license because it's ridiculous. 
Okay, if you All right. say so. Let, let's move away from alcohol for a minute because we need to talk about your food blogging, which is a very important part of this entire yeah. show. Anag is like number one rated. Is it true? Person on Zomato. Yeah. Number one rated on Zomato. Used to be. I think now there are lots of kids who eat out more frequently and can afford How to. How often do you eat out? Uh, I would say personal and professional. Uh, the last one year, I would say twice a week. Earlier, it used to be four or five times a week. Hmm. But if you eat out but in, is it counted? Like if you order the food in to taste it, is it the same uh, thing as no, eating out? I don't consider that as the same thing. Okay, so that's cheating. Because I do a lot of eating out in because I hate leaving the home. I know. So I'm like an ancient caveman who has a really tough wife. The wife will go with the club, kill the whatever, bring the food. I'll be like that. So Absolutely. have you ever tried any of the food apps that bring the food home? The food apps. Uh, I think in Gujarati we say apni, not <laughs> apps. But it will, I, you know, I'll tell you vaguely, I know around me the whole world is changing. And it's very clear the apps are the future. Because ultimately, how the hell will somebody in Burivli find about uh, something in Pune and actually go and get it at some point? Are they doing that? They're doing that. Or? They're doing that. It's, it's crossing boundaries. And you know, if you really care about something badly enough, these things will happen. But I'm saying the food app phenomenon is still to really take place, but it's happening as we speak. There's some very inventive ones. Delhi has more than Bombay, probably. You know, there's one called uh, Delhi and Bangalore has more than that. Yeah. But let me ask you but a that's question. Because Mumbai Cyrus. has potholes, so nothing reaches us. <laughs> reaches very us. often the guy delivering the food he disappears forever <laughs> down a hole. And when no. I say hole, I mean H O L E. Uh, which, of course, is what I meant to say in the first place. Which is what we understand. Which is the dirty which part as well. Right. So I just realized that I'm oh, in a hole right. now again. <clears throat> Let me get out of the hole and carry on. Yeah. Carry on. So the next question to you, Cyrus, would be, would an app know that do you like your butter chicken in a specific manner or not? Well, not yet. But you know, technology. But it doesn't happen. Today, you just have to... So what you're saying is the human factor is not there, so it's not going to catch evolved, up. Yeah. But no, it will catch up. But currently, they are just delivering... Instead of talking to a person, you yeah, are talking to your phone. It's a super point because butter chicken alone, now that he brings it up, the Gaylords butter chicken or the, or the uh, uh, Punjabi... You can order from Gaylords. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying there are plenty of butter chickens which aren't good. So if he just goes by the recommendation of X uh, thing, app, you may not get what you want. No, but it's not, it doesn't work like that. I mean, you, you can you can mix and match, but most places you are ordering No, but you need to them. know. The app is supposed to help you know. The two different things. The app should know. I don't know. think the app will help in food discovery. What do you think? I think it's uh, just delivery. No. No, delivery is not... The app is more than delivery. So, Zomato has a delivery in place. Tiny All has a delivery yeah. in place. Shavi, delivery so they is, are doing both. We can do it from our side. It's called driver. It's not difficult. I don't have a driver. But you should. You're well, an elitist animal. I've seen you at what? work. Yeah. The way you look down on a fellow Indians traveling by <laughs> local transport. and <laughs> no, no, How, you, how if they brush against you, you go and wash yourself immediately. Both <laughs> elbows, so even mean. the left elbows Actually, touch. You wash the right elbows. Well. I mean, that's no way to behave. Terrible. You're terrible. So, uh, but, but we respect that. and We like that. Because without the elite, what country do we have left? Uh, we might as well just have Either lots way, of cows. I can't afford and a driver. It. So that's that. You will soon once you have your own app. But coming back to his <laughs> criticism of the app, which is very valid, is that all it can do is sort of point you in the direction, but it can't take you through all the perimeters that you need to know. Well, if you're ordering from a restaurant, like Faso's now has repositioned itself as a food app thing rather than a restaurant. Obviously, there's no place to sit also. And they're really talking about the uh, amazing um, options on stuff. But you know what you're getting? You're getting Faso's food. And if you're ordering... If, I'm, like, ordering, if hmm. I'm ordering from Moti Mahal and I want... Uh, Paratha, which is a methi paratha, the app doesn't allow me to order a methi yeah. paratha. And see, the Indian it only context a, a, allows you to order a paratha. Superb, I'm with you. Can you put condiments in or special requests? No. No, no, but Anak has got a very good point. Indian context is all about sophistication and layers in the food. All right. And each uh, region has different styles to certain things. So how do you get to all that? When you're a real connoisseur, it's going to be a problem. If you want a basic pizza, I got no issue with it. Absolutely. Then they'll deliver it the way you want it. In, in the uh, States, most of the restaurants are what you see is what you get. But here, there's a hole in the wall which gives you the best biryani or the best dosa. And if he wants no, that. No, if you want customization, basically. You're saying. Yeah, yeah, it's customization. customization. Yeah. Otherwise, what is the point? Throw yeah. this app out of the window. We, we, uh, you call up a shetty joint and say, Sada dosa or suka chutney. Correct. He will send you suka chutney. The app doesn't allow that. So they send you the watery chutney. Mm, okay. So customization. But I think this is just a step. Like it's going to be... Hopefully, that, if they've got 100 crores, they jolly will ramp it up quick. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, why I mean, am I wasting my time? Have you heard of this other thing called uh, Hola, she Hola Chef? It's, yeah. But there's too many Olas. So this one was an H. Huh. Uh, the chef comes home. No, they basically do the micro... stays with your wife for a weekend. 
What? Tell me what the chefs do. If you let me talk. Yeah. So it's locality based. Do you know about this one? It's yeah. just started. I've tried it out. You have. So basically all the aunties in your, like it's like a dabba service, very localized. But aunties, do you mean the male dancers in my locality as well? Or do you, are you just talking about aunties? aunties? No, aunties. Aunties, 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 aunties yeah, Okay. So for example, if I am um, so home going to make Punjabi cooking. food, Auntie I can say, kind of auntie. Auntie Freni, homegrown <laughs> ho- household khana. Household khana. Uh-huh. And you can mix and match. So I can okay. have an idli with the paratha, with a uh, mud cake. So depending on the ethnicity, that particular mid- uh, wife would be sort of she, yeah, she'll put out like 20 of those and that'll be her cat. How sexist are we? Why will it be the wife? Why can't it be the husband? I'm, the no. husbands are also there. Sorry, yeah. it's but they won't, don't allow you to mix and match. No, they... <laughs> ah, well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> okay, we have one joke for the day. We'll move on from there. Uh, so, food blogging, quickly. Uh, so how popular are you, are you now? Zomato and all? Do, I, are they worried about you? Do, do they call up and say, we're opening a restaurant, please come? Tell uh, the truth, Anand. Tell the truth. That's another uh, area Do they, ask, of, do they uh, offer you money? Do they offer you money? Uh, some of them, yes, they offered me a 500 rupees flip card voucher. That's the kind of money I get. Can you talk properly now, please? No, I, I have the same problem. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you end up attending one of these review blog, uh, food right. blogger reviews right. where you see there's some 40 other bloggers. Uh, other micro bloggers as they prefer no, to I've call themselves. No, I've seen this. I've seen this at a restaurant. I found yeah. it very amazing. And so many, yeah, so many and opinions. They, and all of them are busy Instagramming or tweeting about the whole yeah. shit. And uh, the best part of it is none of them or very few of them will ever go back to the restaurant with their own money. Absolutely. And so uh, uh, the restaurant is on the best behavior that day. Everything mm-hmm. is perfect. So it's perfect, perfect, perfect. Four months later or three months later, you try and see the search for the restaurant, it shut down because nobody has ever visited it again. <laughs> oh, God. No, it's true because you uh, you have to review people when they really don't know you're being reviewed. Yeah. Like exactly. you want to review a marriage, you can't go on Saturday night when they're out on a date. Yeah. You have to see them on Tuesday afternoon when the sure husband has lost his job and come home and starts beating the servants. Yes. That's the point to see the marriage. So I, I, I think you're, I don't understand don't why they bother the with this. Everybody's people on their best listening. behavior. Chavi, I've been to one of these 20 people, are, as he says, Instagramming and tweeting and as they eat, which is like live commentary. Beautiful tasting. I mean, I mean, what's the point to that? I mean, I don't understand. Eat, think, reflect, compare, write nicely because food writing is another art form altogether. I don't, I don't do uh, food art I do simple things I like this I did not like this and unfortunately on Zomato one minute I'm, I'm a little distracted she's taking off a sk- uh, skirt or something uh, Chavi I'm sorry please don't remove clothes in the middle of I'm this conversation I'm adjusting the shawl around my legs okay, firstly this is shawl. shawls aren't worn around the legs but, but I'm freezing so they are uh, right but why don't you wear it where it should be worn which is I have these. two shawls on can't you see that's a shawl well it's a stole Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait, one second. We have to interrupt this yes. just to explain what's going on. Yes. It's freezing in the studio, number one. Two, I'm wearing a full sleeve shirt and a skirt, and below my knees, my legs are freezing. My toes are turning blue. So I have okay. wrapped a, like a okay. layer One minute, room. one minute. If it's freezing, why am I in short pants with sweat under my knees? We just talked about why this am in the last thin, episode. Everybody I'm wearing a rumal, not even a shirt. With Madhuri Mohinder, where we look at the <coughs> science of how these people, these men, feel really, really cold. Let's ask our guest who's neutral. He's Sir, a man. Anna, He's not neutral. Don't, you're making it into sexism. I don't like sex, it is sexism. Sexist. It's not sexism. Of course it is. Sir, do you feel cold in the studio? I don't, but Ch- uh, Chavi has stayed in Boston, so why is she feeling cold? I, do, the woman is is, this? I think she needs medication. I've been saying this. I want <laughs> I to just, help her. I'm I want to call in the medical he- staff That's and do something. Thank you me. need to visit Harikishan Das. And if you can't go there, I have lots of pull at that veterinary place. What is your where problem we with my I have shawl? basic medicine. What is your problem? No, I'm worried about people in India who feel cold when it's hot. I don't understand. It's, it's what, 18 degrees in here? It's not 18 degrees, Baba. It's it's hot. Okay, whatever it is, you're feeling You can put numbers cold. on a remote control. It means so nothing. So then switch off the AC. Then I will die and the blog will end forever. Yeah. Listen, let's get back to Anand. You make no yeah, sense whatsoever. <laughs> We're taking a quick break while we argue about saving electricity or saving lives. I say save lives. I Forget say about both electricity. together. We'll turn How? off the electricity, we'll save lives. If you turn off the electricity, you kill me. So you're saving somebody else's life. Okay, What's your gonna, point? We're going to take this off. Now. I am the key man for my family. Two aging parents, two young kids, a wife who doesn't talk to me anymore and lots of other staff. They so uh, if you. you kill me, there's lots of people going to suffer. You forgot the dog Why? and cat. Why? Because of your selfishness. Uh, the dog and cat I've taken care of in my will first. So uh, let me just come to that later. We'll take a break and then come back. All right, uh, back in the studio. The fight is over. Uh, we had to tie Chavi up. And unfortunately, shawls, yes, she has shawls. lost, but that's not a blow against a gender. It's a blow against oppression. I'm oppressed. No, you're not oppressed. I'm oppressed. Oppressed people sweat. You're comfortable? Non-oppressed Are people you comfortable don't sweat. right now? 
I'm not comfortable, but I'm better. I'm at a better place. Right, and I'm better because I've got my shawls around me. I just don't want to but know more about, about you. Why are we fighting about this again? Okay, Anak, come on, talk. Anak, this is your show. Don't let us fight over electricity. I'm now, freezing. Let's enough. go back. Let's go back to your career. And uh, Chavi, I'll leave this with you. You were telling us a little bit highlights about the young Mr. Desai. Young Mr. Desai. Okay, so first of all, I met uh, young Mr. Desai six years ago, and we haven't met since then. Well, and this this was by choice. Uh, no, yeah, okay. by circumstance, we have tried several, several times. We have tons of common friends. We've had tons of meetings planned, scheduled, and then something happens. Like it rains like crazy. Javi, it's called start. marriage. It's not easy to keep in touch with females. I've tried it myself. Anna, Barring one iguana wife? who lived seventeen no. days no, no, and no. was female, I have no relationship what? outside my wife, what? and I have not very little with her as well. So I'm almost gay. Actually, I should be. I'm almost. I'm honorary homosexual. You're calling the Punjabi boy, no? Uh, I. The one who sneezed on you. I don't know. Let's give it another month. You never know what will happen. <laughs> Come on, Chavi. Tell us about Mr. Desai. Six years ago. Ding, ding, ding. So we were on a TV show together about oh, yes. social media. Oops. And then we we liked each other. We thought oh. we'd be friends. Yes. How candid is that? <laughs> we did. <didn't. laughs> this is not and that kind of show, Chavi. To come and, out. And, and the and promise. And the promise was. So you would organize the wine, and I would get the Gujarati starter. Farsan. Ah. Farsan. Correct. So she's trying, still trying to, you know, grow grapes and organize the <laughs> yeah, wine. Yeah, yeah, like, whereas uh, I, I tell had you, so I'm, much. Of, uh, this is just me, and I may be wrong. But if a woman takes six years to come back with you with the wine, I don't know. I feel it's probably not going to happen. I think we would just let it go. Oh, That's why we involved you today. You, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Farsan. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> I'm just one giant dokla. That's what you're trying to say. Fair, fair, yes. and fair. In fact, uh, Anag is definitely an authority on Kaman. So he has advised me, but we've never gone and had Kaman to Kaman. Yes. All right, so but that could happen was, soon. The joke was, "Will ek mayan mein do talwar nahi baith sakti hain." So My God! Fantastic. That That's and media is responsible. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> just, just not it was, with me. Mind. It was oh, Hindi. It was, it was yeah. Hindi. It began with Hindi, but they went to the talwar family who live opposite me. <laughs> and believe me, there's no Hindi about them. So when I met Anag, were you already with the Bombay store? I was with the Bombay store. And then you did. Do you ever feel pressure no. to be called the Mumbai store by certain <laughs> groups uh, like the Beatles, Bee Gees? Those uh, kind of people. Not really, huh. because uh, uh, Bal Gangadhar Tilak had uh, started the Bombay store. So Tilak so supersedes uh, our right wing party, party members. Uh. Thank God, but yeah, but you, whatever you want to say, fair enough. Uh, and then did on. you go to Gitanjali after that? No, I, Gitanjali was 2005. Okay. And then I went to Dubai with Damas and brought opened the Damas stores and. What's India? the thing with D Damas? I didn't get that. Is it like they couldn't spell T H E and so then they made it D? What what, what what's the uh, D Damas? Damas the name and the brand was owned by Tawhid Abdullah in Dubai. Right. And it could not be brought into India. Right. So they opened a distribution channel and they called it D Damas. Why not C Damas or D, B? D for Dubai or A? D for Dubai. Oh, D for Dubai. Okay. And C could have been for uh, Mayul Choksi, C for the mass, but uh, okay. that didn't work well. You want to win? I'll give you two minutes. <laughs> I have worked with a man myself. It's a lovely no, man. Huh? No, no, no. Huh. Very uh, lovely man. Yeah. I spent uh, exactly 11 months with him. Yeah. And uh, fortunately, I mean, uh, I was taken on for the public issue as yeah. a window dressing. Have you met his cook? I have met a scope. Who's the right hand man? Uh, yeah, totally. Fantastic. Fant That's another story altogether. Mr. Choksi should write a book about his story. The guy who handles everything is actually the cook. If you ever work with him for I'm a period, he'll tell you. Anand will tell you. It's not a joke. And uh, um, it, it was during that time I, uh, you know, I was put in as a replica for him uh, on a <laughs> couple of TV shows and. Uh, yeah, ah, uh, so you subbed for him? Yeah, I subbed for him. So, which was the highlight of, or as I called it, the achievement unlocked, like the kids <laughs> call it today. Yeah, you you were the Sachin Tendulkar of the jeweling uh, jewelry world. Absolutely, for a little while. And then, and uh, yeah, then I moved to hardcore retail, which was Damas. We opened thirteen stores in nine months. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, what is this consultants to design customer experience thing that you're doing now? That yeah. you're doing now. Okay, that I and why are you breathing heavily when you say that? Is it painful? It is absolutely painful because every consumer today believes he is the king, and the brand is scared of the consumer. No brand says, F -f -f, "I don't need you." Okay, <laughs> you can't put it more succinctly than that. <laughs> Customer has become more than the king. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, primarily, it has become with social media and digital that let's thrash a brand just for the heck of it. 
Really? Yeah, they are spoiled, aren't they? Yes. They, because, because you can criti- criticize on the spot. This internet works both ways, unfortunately. And then you can DM people and say, please retweet my tweet. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but before you know it, you can destroy people's reputation. I've, uh, one day we'll talk about that. I feel it's very wrong. Yeah. We can talk about it now? But, but, but it happened in the elections. So, where do you come Rahul Gandhi's reputation was in tatters. Huh. And, so, you know, he's not that uh, unbright. Oh, okay, maybe. Right. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just saying. You've got to be careful. <laughs> careful over yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what OnePlus 99 basically uh, does is, it uh, creates the journey of a customer and how yeah. can experiences matter? How do five senses matter? How does a brand, or in uh, 140 characters as we say, we teach brands how to behave. Okay. okay. So, you're training the brands on how on to reach brands. out to people like you. And how to customize. Yeah. Uh, how, how, how does one reach out to Cyrus and ask him to swear in the brand's language rather than the normal swear words he uses? Oh, cool. We're open to that. We're totally open to that. If you're listening, uh, Cyrus will swear however you want him to Most swear. brands just put the phone off if I call. They're just not interested. <laughs> I'm telling them. No, well, I've tried. Your money. Believe me, I've, yeah. I've tried. And I've gone condom brands and, you know, I've hit everything really? possible. Yeah, yeah, condom yeah. Condom yeah. brands? Phone off. Even though if there's one person who should use a, it would be, you know, but let's just leave it there. So, Anak, are you listening? Anak, you now know? we need to freewheel a little bit and talk about very interesting things. Not that your life is not interesting. It is very interesting. And I'll tell you the highlights I've got is that Japanese wine is fantastic. And whiskey. that customers whiskey. suck. And, whiskey, whiskey. Uh, and 11 months with Gitanjali Jewelers made you uh, question your gender and your life. This is what I've got so far. Now I will move on. Paying attention. I will move. I've been paying attention. Now I will move on to all kinds of interesting things. The first, top of the list, porn. The ban on porn. That was just shameful. Why did this happen, Chavi? Are you responsible? No, but what is what, going on in the free what world love, economy? What I love is that the Department of Electronics and IT in India is called Deity. Have you checked that Is it? Out? Is yeah. it? There's a Y at the end. For what reason? Bloody idiots. Sorry. But, Am I going to get in trouble? You will. But Achay Din, a part of it was porn. And I just can't believe this now. Just, Deity but, said it was not okay. No, but now it's sort of come back. But I'm still saying, what are we doing? What's happening? We, we can't, uh, we are part of this uh, free world economy, uh, very much part of it, and then suddenly we can't have these... The Supreme Court says they're open to uh, being approached to rescind their statement. But okay, now speak in English, statement. because uh, um, Anand and I both don't understand looking, yeah, totally. some of the words you're using, except for the word porn, and then after which, you know, we get titillated when we hear the word, yeah. so you have to use nice words after that, like okay, no, easily available, well, log on to... Swines, be- no, what is it? Pearls before swines, pearls before swines. swines. Before pearls. So whoever had to understand me, understood Your animal me. porn moment has gone forever, and we <laughs> take it further. Uh, let Anand what speak. Uh, what, sir, have you what ever... What was very uh, 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 interesting about this porn ban... Yes was that except for Twitter, where everybody supposedly claims to be watching porn yeah. and cribbing and ranting and raving, mm. nobody was even bothered because, I mean, you 800 and odd websites. but 9,000 to go. So 9, no, no, no worry. worry. No worry. Mil- 39 million, oh, wow. 900... And wow. 99,000. And Chavi, the fact that you know this and I, that, I, that you are I, such a hard subscriber. Mine. I mean, sort of a lot of respect. <laughs> I, I don't mind. Put the AC off. I have a lot of respect for you right now. A lot of respect. And in, incidentally, as a friend posted on Facebook saying if you click on the list and the first list is domain available. So how is it? Uh, oh, porn, is it? <laughs> porn website in the first place. Okay. And uh, to beat it all, I believe the uh, uh, people, they spent what? 2000 hours or something trying to make out what is yeah, porn and what list. is not. They must have done it during party. Because the names are confusing. Bodybuilder.com is a porn site. Nobody knows that. With female bodybuilders. I wonder who would go there. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Just, just telling you. Be careful. No, but I was thinking there's another school of thought which is that the government is shutting it down to promote Indian porn. You know, because all because our Indian porn has different uh, names altogether. Uh, Jangli Jawani, for example, you think it's a movie about animals, but it's not. Ah, it's, it's yeah, it's it's actually a lot of passion, lust, and uh, the naked males. Have you seen uh, what is the talk? The Saath Rasta Pe Dazad Theater, no? Is it Shireen talkies? My God, what an elitist you is turned it? out to be. Yeah. Saath Rasta Pe wo theater hoti hai na? The naam <laughs> left kya hai? side pe. Left side, do step, kadam idhar idhar. <laughs> <laughs> so all the posters have Bhoj, like with Bhojpuri movies with these busty like women, scantily clad, standing. Yeah, with and you know, once you put a busty woman. Bursting out of her t shirt. Yeah, like, you know, whatever. The, yeah, the I title can be Vishwamitra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it doesn't matter. It just doesn't make any sense. We've got the picture. But in Sa- one go. Cyrus, don't you think there's a, this is a conspiracy? If the government is not doing work and on the other side, you, uh, you know, put in. Uh, a ban on this, ban on that, which keep, keeps a uh, intellectual uh, Twitterati, uh, you know, very busy. No, so I've they seen, don't, they don't understand what 
is actually going on in the country yeah you think it's uh, just Trinidad is very very funny because they just want to be the in group so the in group things that we must support porn for intellectually yeah whatever my big worry about the whole thing is that porn actually plays a very good role for men and to some extent women which is that they behave themselves they restrict themselves to porn otherwise you'll have more i think more cases out there of frustrated mad indian men misbehaving and chavi you know that I don't know about that, but I think they're intentional. It's true. I've grown up with these men. They're all over. Just to stop child pornography. Don't judge by me and Anna because we are gentlemen. But most men, Amit and Kiran in the studio included, are terrible. They're terrible. They're, they're animals. They're the beasts. Artists. They're predators. They're violent killers. They're murderers, and they have to be put in their place. Really, I quote bad. Chetan Bhagat, who says, "Do not molest girls." And then you should read his book. It's worse than a molestation. But that's not the point. The point is, don't uh, you know? Let the pawn be. It quells the fire. It douses the fire. Well, it stops the nut cases. You know, there are some negatives to that. It also builds very. It also gives actors a career. Have you seen some actors? of the Bollywood actors? They have pawn to turn to. They can still work. You think about all the good no, things. There are there are bad things with porn, right? What they, is they the bad thing with porn? Listen, gay porn? I get you. I get you. Shut up. I get you. No, you unrealistic gender, expectations gender about person. what to expect. Huh. Um, I mean, from from your partner as well as what's supposed to happen, as well as what they're supposed from to look like. From your partner? What are you studying porn together? What is that? It's a from private thing to do. From your lover? That just sounds odd. Oh, yeah. Don't use words like lover. Another yes. I can't remember these terms. Okay, anymore. so for, I mean. think porn is has. Definitely some negatives, but as an outlet, there's nothing wrong with have it. You However, wa- Chavi, have you watched porn? Why should I answer that? It's not why business. not? Are you Rajdeep Sardi side? Yeah, why? So what? Why? Have you watched or not watched? It's a fair question. How many hours a, year, a month do you watch porn? <laughs> but but this comparison of Chavi is. When did you is start beating your wife? I would never beat my wife. <laughs> so She'd beat I would me. Never watch yeah. porn. No, no. Hello, no, this don't com- lie. This comparison of uh, Chavi uh, reminds me uh, that porn is bad. So he's crossing the road in Bombay, right? But not Do as electrifying. Cross, right? I don't know. Sometimes you know. Oh wow, no, Haji Ali, I, don't think I like that's a it. Fair <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we're on another tangent. But here. child pornography definitely. No, don't get into child shot. pornography. Obviously, that's but again, sinister. That's the ISPs are already not making those public. So banning that. Do you that watch porn? Shall we answer the question? Face the music. The question. That means you do. Okay, so you say no. I may, I may not. No, do you? How do you know so much about porn then? Because I'm an informed person, and I have opinions. I don't know about algebra. I'm an informed person. What what does that mean? I know about algebra, and I didn't use algebra in the last month. How can you compare porn and algebra? Algebra is so much more beautiful. Uh, Anna, do you have you ever used pornographic websites for uh, your you pleasure? Can't ask him that. Why are you putting one? Yes, for it's research purposes. Business. For research purposes. That's the answer of a good, well-thinking Malba Hill erudite man. Chavi, one last time. Have you watched porn? It's just not. Have you consumed business. porn? Have you downloaded porn? Do you know the name of porn actors and actresses? I Can know you why. tell your Debbie Does Dallas sunny. from Midnight Cowboy the real story? Who's now on our national TV? Like you know, because that's where porn stars should be. And I, I don't. So you have that. watched the I complete Kimali works of Sunny Leone? Is that what you're, uh, you're uh, confessing? I'm, I'm not okay. discussing uh, so this. We're can, not discussing can, this. Can I ask? Have you seen Sunny Side Up? Her biography. All right, we we'll take a break. We'll come back. Yes, I, I interrupted Anand. It's still Cyrus says you were saying something. I I just wanted to say that that if they ban porn, then they should ba- uh, ban Girish Malia shorts also, isn't it? <laughs> um, you got me. You got me. Wh- which website can I tune into that? <laughs> It's on his Twitter profile. <laughs> All right, fair enough. But uh, coming back to this whole porn thing, who's they? Who's the they that's actually banning uh, porn? D O I T and D T. Nobody is banning porn. Some two lawyers who okay. didn't have any work, male or female. Male, okay, decided that it is against Bharatiya Sanskriti mm. and uh, potent decency. Decency. They've not been to Ajanta Elora recently. Okay, uh, no. uh, and uh, uh, Gajura, yes. they they made an application which the court said that let it be checked, verified, etc., etc. And obviously the government is very hardworking, so they jumped onto the bandwagon. Which gave them access to whatever two thousand hours of viewing or yes, whatever. Yes, you got to be is. thorough. You got to be thorough. They can't be thorough. They banned eight hundred and fifty-seven websites. They got tired. There's only so much porn you can watch. It's a known fact. Take, basically, right? Yeah. So that's where it is, and. Uh, What a waste of time, basically, Anand Desai. Why? Totally. Why do we even get into this? Porn on or not on is not going to change the world. Yeah, but you also have to look at it. In monsoon, it is crucial because which is why knowing that it will be banned, these MPs, MLAs, and all of them keep walking out. 
they're very happy to be uh, thrown out so yes. they can resume their pawn although i'm told off the record you can uh, you know keep your phones on in parliament you keep your laptops on there are videos Ye- of mbs watching pawn in parliament yeah that was i think in the, in bangalore the, some sort of footage but you're right so th- i don't think that should be uh, the only way to look at our parliamentarians they they've got lots of other things to do also like canteen uh, food which is right. cheaper very subsidized. very expensive yes and uh, they're more like the uh, uh, the old bangladesh team more, most of them are out very few are in in uh, things have changed so quickly but uh, chavi let's move away now from porn too much talk about porn and you're not answering the big question which is your relationship with this whole subject so unless you're going to get personal we can't talk about this you okay, have to open so up it's therapeutic please no. talk talk to me tell me do you do you like new things do you look at all this you, I, i'm here to listen i'm I, i'm your what's, therapist what's the next thing we're going to talk about oh uh, nothing but i did a early <laughs> porn work myself which Me didn't too. work so well it's called what the man the, it's called the man with one uh, oh forget it i won't get what it what was your porn name did you have one yes uh, johnny bravo uh, what smaller legs or something like that no double meaning <laughs> let's go on we've got lots of interesting topics list of banned sites also include the french paper le dauphin is it the fi the fu the fa the fa and also college humor what That's is college humor unlocked. college humor is just silly stuff yeah but it's not pornographic per no, se is it not at all okay so, if you can't spell it it's porn i don't know i think they just gone berserk as you said there's nothing to do when i was in college one time my uh, college cracked down on it and at that point they had obviously just run some sort of filter So even places like Hotmail, because it has the word "hot" in it, were totally unreachable. So couldn't get to them. Okay, lost this interest in the subject. Sounds like what our let's let's move on. Uh, okay. Chavi, you started right. SMSing people because the subject has become I'm so boring. I'm trying to look up Dunn Dunn. Let off, and we'll come back to that. Let's now talk about the problems that Anag, personal problems that he wants to talk about with his household staff. And I'm with you. You have blogged about household help and blue collar workers who end up borrowing money. Let's just say the people who do your household work, your drivers, things like that, and then disappear. Tell us your pain. Tell us your story. Take us through the journey of experience with the blue-collared workers who exploit you, molest you, tear your flesh, rob you of everything, and then have the indecency to disappear forever and leave you taking a public transport in the middle of uh, Marine Drive traffic at seven in the evening, Mr. Desai. Yes. Now that's my favorite uh, uh, topic. I have something on poster on my blog called the Driver Katha. Yes, those animals. So which. Which always begins with when my driver goes and leave, <laughs> which is very often. Apparently. Which is very often, or which was very often. Fortunately, this new driver goes only for two months a year, but uh, for eight months because yeah. he has to build a house. House. I'll tell you all the excuses I've heard. Okay, and not just mine, but people around me. One is building houses. Two is marriage. Marriage is a huge thing in India. It's almost eighty percent of your life. If you look at the person's life, because death. one marriage takes about a year. The pre, and, the post, yeah, and the death. and the death and the death is not even of the close relatives huh? it's the i'm the only male in the village have you heard this one no and somebody else has died i'm the only male in the village i have to light the pyre this and the other it's amazing a country of so many people and they can't find substitutes what happens with my parents help is usually they go away for a month and then the day before they're supposed to come back they will call and say i have broken my leg or something has happened or somebody has died or something and they extend it they extend yeah. it no, but, so but, we but, rich but people are being treated badly by the poor for so many years it's time to stand up as a collective rich people and say no more we will not be bullied so elitist, you will not take our money okay, and run Anna, away to a village first, and marry off your daughters three times a year go ahead go ahead i i'll tell you the truth don't lie yeah, now Just no no i i won't lie so this driver of mine the current driver went off for 45 days right and during that period i i was at the mercy of the ubers and olas and all of them most of the time they never turned up really i think uber was quite uh, efficient i can never get one so yeah so uh, when they turned up they were efficient but sometimes the question, they wouldn't turn yeah. up and finally when he came when he came uh, he was uh, sir abhi main nahi jaunga ek mahine ke liye 5 days later he says can i get an advance so i said you already took an advance when you went right So what is the advance? I need fifteen thousand. So I said, for what? My uncle Chacha Ji is not well. So I said, last time when you asked me, you said you had no Chacha Ji. No, he is a distant relative. So he is not technically Chacha Ji, but he is sort of Chacha Ji. Yeah, maybe somebody in the village or father's first cousin. Yeah, seventeenth huh. cousin twice removed or something. Absolutely, and maybe removed permanently. Yeah. We don't give the fifteen grand. Yeah. Ten, uh, I refused to give that. I said I cannot afford because I am also not making money. And uh, so he looked at me blankly, and I said, "Aap jaake kisi ko pucho, maybe startup chalata hoon, or funding nahi mila hai mere ko." 
एंड फाइव डेज लेटर ही कम्स विद शेव एंड हेड एंड ऑल दैट एंड सेज चाचा जी गुजर गए तो पंद्रह पंद्रह हजार मिल सकता है मेरे को आज जाना पड़ेगा सो ऐसे आप जाओ आज और नहीं आना है तो मत आओ ही डिसाइडेड नॉट टू गो इज स्टिल ड्राइविंग द कार सो इट वॉज बेसिकली यू नो गोइंग बैक टू माई वाइफ हु हैव लेफ्ट देयर बिकॉज आई कैनॉट अफोर्ड बॉम्बे काइंड ऑफ अ स्टोरी See, and uh, i don't pay him to romance i pay him to drive my car yeah also you know as much as you want to help people and all the disparity being terrible in india no doubt about that let's face the actual truth we have to look after our own at the end of the day what yeah. the hell is going to happen yeah do we, but beating hard skin okay, there's no end to it you, money, you never give money i've seen you Shh, be quiet. you don't even tip the taxi driver who brings you your poor chap i still tip them uh, so i just i tip all of and them and i have no money i give them I chewing gum money away than i have there are two diabetic taxi said, drivers who died because of me you know so you just remember <laughs> Think about what you're doing. Okay, and like if he'd said, "I need the money because I have to pay tuition for my son who is going to college, and they need the all the money in bulk right now for the next six months," would you have given it to him? For what my, proof for do we my, have? No, for no, my well, maid. Had a receipt. No, for my maid, I pay the fees of her child directly to the school. Right. Okay, that's the best well, that's way to o- do it. Yeah. That's I take okay, it further. For I teach in that school because I have a lot of time on my hands, <laughs> and I go home with totally. the maid. So our whole relationship is different. Uh-huh. Yeah. But coming back to this, uh, we're joking about this. But you know, there's no end to bleeding. I have a guy who worked for me. Not- listen, listen to my story. It's very painful. Okay, okay, Let okay. me speak. I can't it's, be it's silent. Cyrus, it's called Cyrus. 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 Chavi, you don't understand. So he comes and asks for a loan from my wife because my wife handles all this. Because I'm, uh, I think I have a personality issue. I'm either you know very nice or very You're bad. Chilling with can't me. Can't be moderate. Anyway. So yeah. So so uh, so she handles it. So she handles it. So he comes and says, uh, you know, madam is not listening. I want some uh, money. I need twenty five thousand. Again, he had just taken ten thousand about a month back. I can get 25000 for building a house somewhere you know i don't know maybe he's got the you know interior decorator what's his name that uh, parsi fellow who charges a lot you know this is a hafiz contractor maybe he's doing the house i don't know all right so he's he's got whatever so when i tell him that i don't have the money exactly what i said i said i don't have the money let me earn some money then i'll give you some money he says he starts laughing cynically at me ha ha aapke paas paisa nahi hai you know so they've already decided how much money we're worth they like a bloody account there's a limit to it i have a priority I have agree. a list so i have to pay I for other things i can't keep throwing money around so i'm probably poorer than both and who gives us money does anand get money from the government does somebody up there send money down to us we have to work for everything So I'm saying charity change. begins at home. There's a limit to what you can do. Do what you can, but don't get bled. But once you get bled, people get lazy and they're just exploiting you and they're jumping on your head. And don't get socialism and communism into it. I'm not. I'm not. If I you're really secular, it's not about rich and poor. Generally it's about speaking, if you're exploiting me or not. Yes. So generally speaking, I don't think they're exploiting us. I think they are victims of circumstance as uh, much. Yeah, you are bleeding heart liberal. There's no end to you. A little, and I do agree. You can't give more than. That's you why can, you don't want right? the AC. They are a communist at heart. Oh ho! We should leave you at the border. But something needs to be done. We should put you in North Korea. System. Kim Jong Un okay. will teach you about okay. love. Okay, okay, Chavi, let me put it the other way around. With uh, the number of CSRs, NGOs, and all of that, don't you f- find that we are uh, facing a CSR fatigue? I I don't think the people who ask ask for money actually have access to those places. So, for instance, I've had. Hey, Baba, but he's not not giving money. He's giving money. Look at the scorecard. It's specifics. He gives him money. He helps him. He does what he can. But he can't give him every three days thirty thousand rupees. So, what about putting these people so in touch with the people? So, put the bleeding heart away and save animals. Actually, Forget about I humans. I do save the animals. The much better right. idea. I to try to I, I look in my scorecard. Animals come way higher than humans. Then you can have right? your AC off again. Humans, these are nice things. You're like speaking nice. Get like a one out of ten. Nice humans. Absolutely. Animals Repeat that. Humans can do you watch porn? These two proper truths I want, and I'm done. <laughs> so, how about helping? Like people, if you do this, tell us. Maybe we can help connect the people who need with the people who can help. Because no, 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 help no. They just see him as a mark after some time. On, they see the Cyrus. mark. He's a rich guy, and they're going to take right. him down. Don't so you understand? So my mates also think it's hilarious. I live in a three-bedroom oh. apartment, and they think it's hilarious when I say I don't have money. Yeah, the But cynicism. I try to tell them, look, it's not my money. My parents bought this. It's a priority, also. Even if it is your money, it's your money and your priorities. The Fair other enough. things you have to do with it, you Fair can't enough. just. But they see they live in one room, right? I Sometimes mean, you know what I feel we should do: seem. give them all our money and say, "Now you let me be the driver." I, I'll screw them. I'll screw them every day. I'll okay. smell body odor. I'll ask them. You know, when my guy wants money, he starts with the same three words. एक बात बताओ मोमेंट इज एक बात बताओ आई नो आई लूज ऑल इरेक्शन फॉर अ वीक आई एम जस्ट गॉन आई जस्ट लूज इट माई टेस्टोर लेवल गो जीरो आई हेट एक बात बताओ एंड ही सेज इट लाइक द अर्ली दिलीप कुमार यू नो एक बात बताओ इट इज लाइट वॉइस यू नो लाइक इज ट्रेजिडियन सेल्फ इज गो डाई इन मिनट इफ यू डजेंट टेल यू द स्टोरी सो आई एम सिंग दिट माइन इंटरअप्स माई स्लीप माई गॉड यू स्लीप विद योर ड्राइवर नो I'm oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. You took I, the discussion in the wrong direction. He sleeps in the car. <laughs> Listen, you better pay him. Or he'll blackmail you. Yeah. Huh. So he'll say, "Sir, sir." अच्छा एक बात पूछना था आपसे. 
So I know that there's either money, advance. So there's a school which teaches them how to approach this uh, subject. Absolutely. Otherwise, it's grunting. You say, "Janal, car is here. Two minutes, come on." That's it. There's no response. Huh? Kal sare saath baje. It's always like that. Who, when you would say, "Where's the car?" He would like motion you from it. Like, "Here, come, come, yeah, come, yeah. yeah. come on, yeah." Yeah, that's the early Caesar attitude. He's waving to the public, telling you what to do. Away, Caesar. That's what I call it. But I'm just saying. Now let's understand this. And there's nothing wrong with thinking about the disparity in our country and trying to help uh, solve problems. And of course, they are suffering. But at, after some point, they see Anag as a mark, and they're just going to take ex- uh, advantage of the situation and bleed him dry. Am I right, sir? That's all. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. Chavi, you don't have enough staff. You don't understand the pain. I have plenty of staff. You need to marry a really rich man, and then oh, you'll know what it's like. Don't even get me started. I'm I have three friends, really ugly. The all bachelors. I'm going to introduce you to them. Why? If you take the right kind of medication and chloroform, <laughs> you can sit through the marriage, and you'll suffer the stuff. Let me tell you. Have I actually? My wife told me about this rich lady in Malabar who came up to her and once and said, "I've got such a busy day. I have to sort out all the servants. They have sixteen people in their house, wow. five bedroom really? flat. They have a, they sixteen have people working for them. She spends the whole day. First, we thought about how elitist and stupid the comment was. But sixteen people driving you mad every five minutes. एक बात बताओ, मैडम जी एक बात है, मैडम जी ये हो गया, मैडम जी फोन कॉल आई है, मैडम जी ईमेल आ गया. You know, I mean, there's no end to it. That woman has killed herself. She's died. Sixteen people in five bedroom flat, all asking for. Their Things. They don't understand that they're supposed to work for you. We are working for them. We are working for them. <laughs> I can't bear it anymore. We're not a bank. What are we? A bank of bank for poor India? That's what we are. Uh, go ahead. You were saying something else. We'll take a break and then come back on. I can't believe your lack of sensitivity. Really. Uh, Cyrus says, "Ask me anything." If you want Cyrus to answer your questions on air, send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail dot com. If you send us a link to a sound file on SoundCloud, we'll even play you asking the question in your own voice. And that's what Cyrus says. Now, now that we finish with drivers, let's target watchmen. Okay, <laughs> welcome back to Cyrus says. So they finally blinked. The watchman blinked, and Shahrukh Khan is back at one kade. Yes, the power yes, of the yes. people, not working so much. The power of the influential. Firstly, that ban was ridiculous, guys. Come on, be honest totally. about this. I mean, what? How do you ban a guy like he's a child from the stadium? And I was there that day. The fight stadium? happened because the kids were trying to go on the wicket, and well, they weren't on the pitch, but they were on the ground and they were celebrating. And the high watchman, as they can be, was high-handed. Uh, on, on to take his side of course obviously how do you deal with so many kids and all that so he was losing it and shouting and, and using some right. bad language he was right but then when he argued with sharuk he used uh, he used the minority car he called him a pakistani all this was not shown oh. okay that's where it went wrong and that is why sharuk went berserk not to take his side but there's you know a limit to this name calling and this prejudice the uh, in your face sort of thing and that's why it went out of hand anyway that's the old story the point is now the watchman has been promoted he's now a colonel in, in a building society in bhayandar <laughs> and he's very happy he's got three children and uh, sharuk Even three children also. Yeah, three. Well, I don't know what the story is between them. <laughs> the relationship between Anang and his driver was not very clear. Yeah. <laughs> Every so same, time he Saab is asleep, man. he wakes him up. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Yeah, so something like that's going on in India, and we don't know. While we sleep at night, you who don't watch porn, I won't admit to it. Chavi, that just reminded me of Shiny Ahuja. Was it Shiny Ahuja? Yeah, Shiny Ahuja. But I don't know. Again, that's that story. Shiny is repeated by Cyrus because he comes home with his mate. That's no? right. He's chilling with. But his to mate. her home, I, I'm I'm about cheap. It's not about really taking advantage. It's really sad. Uh, <laughs> let's get back to uh, Shahrukh. Quick comments. Uh, what a funny story. It's really comedy for me. I, I I don't even know where to begin. About the driver. No, no. About the about this whole watchman oh, fiasco, uh, him getting you know banned, banned for five years, then revoked after three. Did it's they stupid, ever let no? M F Hussain back him? Uh, the, no. It's not Wankhede. That's Willingdon. That's Willingdon. Uh, but it's that's two different things. One is cricket. One is art. One Both sides with W. No. Sorry. Both sides with W. Okay, fair enough. You're her lawyer. You win. I back off. Willingdon, Wankhede. Yeah, it's a, some sort of this institution. My point here is, it's the IPL, which has got such a nice name yeah. in terms of you know morality and ethics, <laughs> and uh, they are so worried about you know banning people when half the IPL doesn't exist. Exactly. Lalit Modi, the founder, is on the run. You know, two teams have been banned: Guru Nanak Mayapan, Raj Kundra, under investigation. Three cricketers. Uh, are basically never going to play cricket for India again, and there's lots more who have not been discovered. There's lots of other Mr. Uh, Raman Subha. What's his name? Sundar Raman is under a cloud. Uh, you know, Sinawas is under a cloud. There's no end to it. And then, of course, uh, they go after Shah Rukh Khan and then revoke it. Like they are the most holy institution so in the world. How long was he banned for? Quite Supposedly years. five years, but they pulled it back by two because his next film, Rice, is one year away. So they don't have to criticize him for a year. So you know, that's why it makes sense. And it makes sense because. Uh, uh, 
only Kolkata Knight Riders will be playing in. Yeah, you're left with two teams, so you can't ban one owner. Yeah, right, bang on, spot on. <laughs> so embarrassing. IPL this year will be between two teams, and your aunt and uncle can come. That's about it. <laughs> it's amazing. But really, the IPL doesn't understand how we are laughing at them a lot. Maybe they'll still be successful. Maybe they'll still watch the cricket and all that. But I think a lot of people are just, it's just, it's like a joke because it's pretty transparent that the whole thing is falling apart in a way. So there's another league as well, right? Oh, uh, sorry. No. What which, the hell? Are you playing dumb blonde? What are you doing? <laughs> why, you, was bad why would you say that? Over. Yeah. The ICL? That was long ago. That's that's oh, over. Finished? Yeah. There are threats from other people to uh, ZD generally. Unless you are unless to, you're trying to compare the Kabaddi. Yeah. Are you trying to compare the, the Kabaddi or the wrestling, <laughs> professional wrestling league which will launch in October? No, I meant the ICL. I just couldn't remember what it was called and what happened. It's so it. difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it's because you don't have staff. Once you have that's staff, right. we are much more alert. Yeah, but look at your mind. Look at the positives of IPL. Huh. Uh, a person who could just barely play cricket and would never make the India team yeah. is taking home now 12 a watchman. lakhs. Oh, no. sorry, I had another idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, 12 lakhs home. No, no, I'm not against the positives. Definitely there's more money to be made. A whole industry makes but, money. But once he sees 12 lakhs, it is easy to corrupt him to make 18 lakhs yeah. and throw the game. Yeah. Well, not even throw the game. Just bowl one no ball or no ball. Just here and there. The national team also does that. Oh, hey, hey. Madam Ji, you bola. Please, uh, on record, this is Chavi's statement, not <laughs> yeah, me. No, we no. are not involved. There's a legal issue here. You can't just point. I'm going to uh, plead ignorance. Please so. plead ignorance. Talk about some other national team. Okay. Pakistan, maybe you'll be safe. <laughs> no. Yeah. Not You're even not there. in Pakistan, though. Uh, we're not going there in the next two months, I can tell no, you. No, no. Yeah. Okay, time for the EMA. Uh, Anand, do you know what that is? Do you have any idea? American Music Awards, it's huge in America. Ask our version is me Ask Me Anything. anything. So these are questions okay. from our, our audience. This is what uh, um, I think uh, uh, Rahul and all of them, that housing Rahul and all of them tried to do and yeah. fell flat kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something yeah. like same, that. Same story yeah. with us, same, yeah. Yeah. exact same. Okay. So Cyrus will fall flat. Um, possibly. Uh, possibly. Nothing about me is flat, as you can see. <laughs> Let's go ahead. All right, so Anaita has asked on email, what do you How think... How did you say your name? Uh, Anaita? Anaita? Anaita. Anaita. Okay. Okay. Dreaming of his wife. Oh, I was thinking Australian. Anaita. Oh, shoot. Thank God. I was confused there for a second. Go ahead. <laughs> so, Come on. Anaita Christian. said, What do you think about the fact that the government spent 16 crores on SMSs for Yoga Day? Yeah, that's. Uh, I'll just do the maths quickly, Anand, because I'm very sharp. There's either 2 billion SMSs at 8 paisa per SMS or even more. So there's something weird going on. There's a lot of money. Uh, but I, you know, I'm a big fan of yoga. Really? I've spent all my life trying to touch my toes. And I finally did it by sitting Cross. on a chair and getting someone to push my knee up. And then another person pushed my hand down and they actually met. So I, I, I don't know. I'm not an anti-yoga per se. I think it's a good thing. And if you want to promote it, I don't have a problem with that. My only worry is that the people who are promoting it are a little scary. With due respect to some of the guys, they show practicing yoga. I, I don't know if children can sleep at night when they contort their bodies and their eye, one eye is above the other and all that. So I need mean, you want to rethink that. I would like it if Priyanka Chopra was your brand ambassador alone. 16 crores on SMS is Cyrus. 18 crores will get her. No, no not a good idea. About it? Anand, completely, your take? Completely too much money agree. wasted or not? Uh, it depends. Yeah. One, 1. 1.2 billion. Sanskriti is going out. There are 1. 1. 1.2 billion. So these SMSs went that, out to some... That's one SMS per, per individual citizen. No, it's citizen. more because there are only 93 billion people with cell phones in India. This is 93 93 billion? billion. Million. Okay, you're drinking million. again. You're drinking that Japanese whiskey, are you? Put it yes, down, put it, it down. Was, okay, okay, fine. Yes. I'll stop, I'll stop. But the numbers don't add up. They've just like basically really, really sent a bunch of random SMSs no, but it's very clear that our government is promoting 190 crore SMSs and there are 93 crore users. No, I'll tell you, there's some good that's 193 crore means two uh, SMSs per, per user. Per user. Why though? Then you can save that, send that money to save the tigers. No, 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 pinch, no, true. Which they're saying they don't have money for. And tigers don't but need tigers yoga. They're fit. No, and they need they need less than 100 crores. They can easily. Uh, the point is, tigers are doomed anyway. You're wasting your time. Am I right? No, yeah. you're not right. That's his point, not mine. No, no. I how many tigers are alive? Well, uh, there are one guy we couldn't catch in Pakistan. That, that's one I can think of. But uh, <laughs> let's get back. So, uh, no, my worry is that uh, y'all are not looking at it positively here. For a second, if you can just look at it, yoga per se is a very good thing. And when you see all the BJP guys doing yoga, like Venkai and I do, going, doing uh -huh, a backflip uh -huh. and those beautiful backflip. arms aesthetically going behind and yeah, touching yeah. his beautiful legs. I mean, I mean that's something. It's that's inspiring. poetry. The politicians who are poetic, it's very rare for our country. So, so they I'm okay with that. sent those SMSs. Oh, if I get those visuals once a month to see them perform so do their thing month, outdoors I'm okay one day spend the money year. it's worth it okay Anaita you got your answer next question a non-user on Twitter 
Hey Cyrus, what would you do if you were shipwrecked and marooned on a remote island without any sort of connection to humanity? It's called Mumbai. I've been here for 43 years. It's been painful. Anak, what's your reply? Shipwrecked, marooned on an island? Where's the water? Uh, around you, part. around you. It's a remote island, but there's water. But you don't have any data or cell phone signal. Do you have a swimsuit? Um... You I won't need. The there's nobody else, no. But are you allowed to uh, swim or not? I mean, yeah, yeah. swimmable. Swim, swim. Are there yeah, predators swimmable. in the water, like Probably, sharks, yeah. jellyfish? In the deep. In the deep. So you can go twenty, thirty feet, then you got to come back. Yeah. And nobody else is there. No. WhatsApp yeah, so will be working. No. I mean, just no connectivity. No connectivity whatsoever. Um, Mumbra in the old days. <laughs> same old, same old. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that difficult. It's not difficult. What would you do? What I normally do: scratch, pull, press, play, talk to myself, spit. Uh, have a bath without using water. These kind of things. Yeah, there's lots of water. It's an island. Listen, we won't live long, but life will carry on as normal. And Anak, what would you do? The same I'll thing. Treat it as a, a detox, forced detox, hmm. and survive well. But In any case, I'm looking for to go uh, somewhere where there's no connectivity for seven days, and nobody's been able to. And find this will be the place. cheapest way. The think cheapest about way, it. yeah. <laughs> but no wife. No wife, which is okay. Well, okay, but the thing is that you're going to be alone. So this is like there will be no maid also. Oops, that's you. And driver. And driver. Oh, I'm going to miss that guy. All right. Now, next question. Imagine you're there 20 days and suddenly somebody goes, uh, Sir, sir, wake up. Ek baat batao. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Anak strangling himself. <laughs> next, please. Okay, next. Last question from Pavan Shukla. Why do you never talk about 99? I love that movie. I even had a DVD but lost it. And then something. Okay, so should I send him one? Because we have only one copy. 99 was a picture that was made in 2009 with Kunal Kemu. I think it's a very Raju. reasonable. Raj. DK and Raju, no? Raju is not the guy. Raj. Uh, yeah, so they made this. They're two American Indian fellows who came back, made this film. They made lots of films subsequently. It's a very nice movie with Kunal Kemu in the lead. I'm the, what you call the friend. Oh. Oh. Role hey, of so lifetime. we have a connection. I'm in one of their first in their first movie. Sure. Flowers. Uh, flavors. Flowers. What the hell is wrong? Flavors. With what is flavors. that bar ice cream? No. Uh, it was a, it's the name of a I bar that all these random lives connect at. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So they they write very well, and it's a, it's an interesting thing. Ninety nine. Of course, you just have to pay me. If you watched the uh, movie, you'll know why they didn't. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I heard good things about it. I. So what's the person's name who wrote in? Pavan. Pavan. Every time it's a Pavan. It's the same Pavan. Okay. He's Pavan. Your only listener. We will send you a copy. I'll figure out how. Because there's like two copies left from what I gather. Did well, you enjoy it? Oh, it was great fun. We were shooting in Delhi in the hot sun. And I had to wear a fat suit because initially they wanted um, Adnan Sami to play the role. And uh, they thought I was really fat. So when I came for the uh, audition, they were like, but you're not that fat. We were very disappointed. <laughs> I was so happy. when they said, oh, but you don't look that fat. And they had to talk. They spoke in Telugu for about 45 minutes, which is generally one line. And then uh, decided that I have to wear a huge uh, fat, suit. fat suit. Then the guy came, the master G came. And he, the master Gs, when they come from the film world, they you know they, they just invade your privacy. They take off all your clothes. You're in your underwear. And, and they first put the thing around your crotch area where they, it holds the fat suit and then it straps on like a bra around oh. your yeah so I wore my first bra in many ways and yeah and then they just touch you and feel you everywhere initially I was shy then I enjoyed it so mm. then I asked then him to it do it even when the sh- movie was over we just come let's try on the suit but uh, it was an experience and I got to ride a bike that was the best part bicycle I haven't, I, I, in 1990 no a motorbike I was learning how to ride a bike I was 18 years old in Sofia where we were doing plays that's a girls school yeah, no we, the plays are done by all genders Achy. So in the evening we rehearse and how do I explain this? <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> my pal Jay had a bike so I would you know it's, it's an incline you take circles. You think he's gone right? But listen, the listen, this true story. I hit a nun. Oh no! And my mother is Catholic, so you know when I came home and whatever it was very embarrassing. She said, "You're never riding a bike again. It's over. All of us are going to hell," which we are anyway because we're close to Thani. But um, anyway, to cut a long story short, I didn't ride a bike for so many years, and then there in Pragati Maidan, we had a whole scene riding a bike. And they said, "Proja, can you ride a bike?" Now you're like 35, 36 years old, male. You can't say you can't. I can't remember. Ha ha ji, ha ji. And plus, I'm in Delhi. In Delhi, everyone is confident. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Ha ha, ho jayega, ho jayega. Don't worry, don't worry. Give me the bloody bike. But it four stroke, three stroke, God knows what it was <laughs> first started when flying because I hit something I mean I can ride a bike but the damn gears take a little while but what fun yeah. oh and then I just took off I went to Agra <laughs> uh, once I got my confidence I said screw 99 I've got a bike full time <laughs> bye bye then Suhali Khan sat behind because uh, I not had pillin for a long time and she's not as light as you think so <laughs> off we no. went Titanic Doom. she's tiny though so am I. So it didn't work. <laughs> Anyways, we put her back on Kunal Kemus and they got married. The movie did okay. And I have the fat suit and the master G calls me on Christmas with a card and a wink. Oh, how yeah, nice. That's Wait, the story. they got married? Who got married? 
So well, Soha Khan, Ali Khan, and Tiger Parari's daughter. Yeah, yeah. Married She's married to Kunal Khemu, who's an actor. Anand has fallen asleep during the segment. Huh? His Hindi film knowledge is obviously ends yeah, at Shole. Have you been in any movies? Have you been in any movies? No, I see only Hindi movies, which have don't. Have you been in any? No, he likes old Hindi movies and old like Kail Sagal. Uh, yeah, where they don't disturb my sleep. Yeah, where the roses uh, make out. <laughs> 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 Until the driver suddenly appears. Yeah, but I don't go to Edward Cinema or something like Chavi goes to look at Chavi, the posters. No? Chavi is amazing. Your single cinema love and how do you, the way you put it to you know they show dirty movies in those places. You know that sometimes. Yeah, you know when I was in the school, the posters, 10 a.m. show used good. to be the dirty show, but uh, not so you went to school went. and you saw dirty movies all the no, time. Which no. school is this? I didn't. I wasn't allowed to. This brings me back to the whole circular thought. Do you watch porn? <laughs> I think it's time to end the show. Don't Tell you? the truth as we end the show. Somebody yes, speak the truth. See, Mr. Desai and Mr. Brocha have been open. We open. have, at some point in our life, for a minute or two, watch some porn. Research purposes Research only. Research scientific reasons, uh, analyzing, because that's part of what we do, yes, and so understanding I people better. But you are not telling the truth. So do you? Did you? Have you? <laughs> I am telling the truth, which is it's not your business. I may have, I may have Let not me have test it. you. I'll, I'll name pornographic magazines and non-pornographic magazines. If you answer correctly, we'll know. So I'm going to name it. You say yes or no, okay? Well, if, hey, is this a porn mag? India Today? Yeah. Hustler. Yeah. Illustrated Weekly. Yeah. Penthouse. Yeah. White House. Yeah. Mayfair. Yeah. Skylark Building. That's not a magazine. Okay, man. whatever. I lost <laughs> it. Just no question. Point was made. The point was point made. You was know, made. You, you know, know your pawn, pawn, man. You know your pawn. <laughs> You're Larry Bloody Flint as far as I'm concerned. All right, that's all we have time for. Cyrus says, Anak, thank you so much. Uh, we'll give you the last word, but really, make it just one. Thank you. That's two. We'll cut that. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. You're listening to Cyrus Says. All views and opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily the views and opinions of the Indus Vox Media Network or any of our show advertisers or sponsors. No animals were harmed in the making of this podcast. Obviously. All right. If you've listened to the show called Cyrus Says and you want your money back, let me tell you that can't be done right now. But we can make you feel better if you listen to Made in India. That's M A E D Made in India with me. There's no D in me, although maybe one day. <laughs>